Good morning guys, welcome back to our channel. So today we're gonna to be doing another little vlog for you guys. So later this afternoon I'm gonna head over to Bex and we're gonna go and we're gonna go for a swim over in her pool. But this morning you're just gonna be chilling with me. So I got up actually quite a while ago, just got dressed, got ready. And now I'm gonna make some breakfast, so I'll take you guys along for my breakfast. But what I'm gonna make this morning is, and don't judge me for this, I'm going to make avocado pancakes. I think that like some of you guys will think that that's weird or gross, so as I said, don't judge me. But basically what you do when you make avocado pancakes, you just take half an avocado um, and mix it together with two eggs um, and fry them off in a pan. So it makes kind of like a nice little more savory pancakes so it's kind of like the banana pancakes but with a twist and also if you guys didn't notice i got my hair chopped off once again um so it's a little bit shorter i don't know how i feel about it it's like it's okay it's okay i mean i enjoy having the shorter hair for summer but i got a layer in it this time and it's giving me like I don't know, me and Beck call it like gum nut head, where it like curves around your head, or like a bell sprout head for like anybody who ever watched Pokemon. <laughs> but yeah, so I don't know how I feel about it. Let me know what you think of my new hair in the comments below, because, mm. but I'm just gonna set you guys up over here. Cool. So what you need to make these pancakes is just half an avocado and two eggs, which is like, Super simple. So I already have half an avocado in my fridge that is looking a little bit mangled. So what you're gonna do is grab your bowl, put your mashed avocado in there and... And I'm also gonna pop in some chili flakes just for a little bit of a kick and something different. You could honestly put like a bunch of different things in here though, like different herbs and spices. Um, you could also add like a bit of almond flour if you wanted them to be uh, more like a real pancake, I suppose, like have more of that fluffy texture. But I like to keep mine nice and simple and something that you can kind of have on an everyday basis. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna stick to my two ingredients. And of course, I'm also gonna add in some salt and pepper. Okay, so breakfast is pretty much ready. So as you can see, this is like not the most attractive breakfast in the world. So not very Insta worthy, but it does taste really, really good. And the avocado makes it like really nice and creamy and delicious. Um, you could also like put some other veggies in there if you wanted to, like grated carrot or grated zucchini, I think would go really nicely. Um, so you could call this a pancake actually, or it's just like an omelet. The other thing that we're gonna make this morning, if you're following us on Instagram, you probably noticed that I've been making iced coffee like every single day because it's so hot in Australia at the moment. So I'll take you guys through how I do that. It's really simple. So I just use instant coffee as well, um, but you could use more fancy coffee. I'm just using this organic brand that you can get from like Coles and Woolies. You could do like the fancy coffee, like Beck has that what do you call it? It's like that coffee machine thingy, the like Italian one that sits on the stovetop. So you could do a coffee like that, which would probably be like a little bit stronger, but I'm not that fussy when it comes to coffee. So I'm just gonna pop in a teaspoon of my coffee. And then I'm gonna go and fill this up like about to here with water. So just some filtered water, so I'll be right back. Cool, so we have our coffee. And actually for this coffee, this instant coffee, you don't need hot water to melt it. So that makes it like even easier. So I'm just gonna grab some ice cubes as well. Load up ice cubes. 
And then I'm just going to use some coconut milk. So if you're looking for a brand, I quite like this Australia's own organic coconut milk. And we're all done. So if you don't want something with caffeine, um, the other option that you have is to make like an iced chocolate, which I've done before because I kind of cycle in and out of drinking coffee and caffeine. So I had a long period of time where I didn't drink any coffee. Um, so this has kind of been like reintroducing it back into my diet and it's been pretty okay. I mean, some days I do find that it has more of an effect probably on days when I'm like more stressed out in general. Um, I find that I don't do as well with caffeine and I only ever have one coffee a day. So that's my other rule, but anyway, I'm gonna sit down and have some breakfast because I'm starving. So this morning I am also thinking that I'm going to make some fat balls slash fat bombs. Um, because my fiance, oh news, I didn't actually ever mention this. Um, anywhere really because I think I'm just not like much of a sharer like naturally um, like I'm, pr I'm a pretty private person although I'm gonna get more used to this doing vlogs I suppose but I got engaged um, last year in November so very exciting news to share but my fiance Nick is currently doing a ketogenic diet so I'm not doing that myself personally but I'm obviously helping him along with that. So it's pretty easy to do a paleo and ketogenic diet. Like um, literally I just like cook some sweet potato for myself and he just has like all of the non-starchy veggies with more fat, more a little bit more dairy. So like cheeses and things like that. So today I'm going to make him some fat bombs, which I think he'll really appreciate. And I was also asking you guys over on Instagram whether you wanted to see a few keto recipes. Um, and a surprising number of you did want to see keto recipes. Um, so obviously we will always be more of a paleo channel. So we're not about to jump over and be like a full on keto channel. But if you guys want to see a few more like whole food, paleo-ish, keto style meals, um, let me know because I'm happy to do a few more of them on here because obviously I'm making more meals for Nick um, to suit his dietary requirements at the moment. So yeah, it's really easy for me to just show a few more of those meals if you're interested in seeing those as well. Because I think there's like a lot of different ways that people do ketogenic diets um, and some of them are better than others so it's kind of like freaky when you scroll through like the Instagram hashtag keto because you'll see some people that are eating just like straight cheese and like bacon and that's like all that's on their plate and it's kind of just like bleh. But there's no reason really why you can't incorporate um, non-starchy vegetables so like your leafy greens um, a little bit of broccoli, things like that, into a ketogenic diet. So um, I actually did a ketogenic diet quite a while ago um, when it was really popular in the beginning. I did it for about nine months. So I do have like a little bit of experience doing um, a keto style diet. So if you want any content that is kind of related to keto, I'm happy to do that. But yeah, not a keto channel, don't worry. I feel like the people that follow us, um, so you guys, like some of you would be worried and some of you reach out and say, oh, I'm so glad that you don't um, do keto. And I'm not against a ketogenic diet at all. I think it's really suitable for certain people. Um, it's not for everyone. But if you want me to elaborate more on my thoughts about keto, I'm happy to do so, but I, I'll try not to like talk too much to that in this video. But yes, I'm going to make some fat bombs slash fat balls. So basically all that is is like um, a little keto treat that's like most of the energy is going to be coming from fat, a very small amount of protein and as few carbs as you can get in there. But I've realized that I am missing the star ingredient, which is coconut. So I'm gonna go out to the shops now and find some coconut flakes, which I can use in this recipe. So I'll either bring you guys along with me or you'll see me back here in the kitchen.
Okay, so I just popped into Coles to pick up some ingredients and some things for lunch. Um, and then I also went by the health food store and got some stuff for these fat balls. And now I am heading home. On a side thought, so I was picking up some stuff for lunch and it really irritates me that all of the salad stuff always comes in plastic and it's like that soft plastic that doesn't recycle well. So I was thinking of doing an upcoming video that would be like going zero waste for three days or something like that just to like really challenge myself to use less plastic. So if you guys would be interested in a video like that, let me know because it's something that I'm thinking about doing. This is what I'm talking about. Because I know that you can buy regular conventional leaves, kind of like from the self-serve, like into your own bag. But if you want organic leaves, this is pretty much all that they have available. So need to find a solution to this. Righto guys, so I have just gotten home and I, him, what was that? And I am going to make these fat balls slash fat bombs. So. I realized that the last time I did this recipe on stories, I forgot to write down the exact um, measurements. So we're gonna kind of be like winging it. It's a fairly simple recipe, so I think everything should be fine. So the ingredients that I'm going to be using for these fat balls is some organic stevia. I'm gonna make them into an espresso flavor, so I'm gonna be using some of our coffee. So I'm also gonna be using these coconut flakes and I'm going to turn them into coconut butter. So. I'll show you how that goes. And also got some flaxseed meal. So some of these things um, might seem like they have carbohydrates in them, if that'll focus. Um, but what you'll notice is that this is basically like 100% fiber. Um, so when you're doing keto, you're generally calculating your net carbohydrates, so carbs minus any fiber because um, those carbohydrates aren't going to be absorbed because they are indigestible fiber. So Gonna be doing some flaxseed meal and that really helps to hold them together and give them like a protein ball kind of texture. Then of course some coconut oil. This would be even better if you had MCT oil, but we don't have that at the moment. So that is pretty much everything that I'm gonna be using and we'll see how it turns out. I'm gonna start off by um, blending our coconut flakes and turning them into coconut butter. So this is something that I tried recently and it worked really, really well. So. I'll show you how it goes. Another thing, I don't know how many coconut flakes are in this bag, so I'm gonna guesstimate around 200 grams, um, and that's how much I used last time, so we're going with 200 grams coconut flakes, and we're going to blend them up in this food processor, so let's do it. And literally, all you have to do is turn on your food processor for like, five minutes or so, the longer that you do it, the more creamy that the um, consistency will be. Okay guys, so I lied. This is not as simple as I thought it would be. First time that I turned coconut flakes into coconut butter, I was using toasted coconut flakes and these are like raw untoasted coconut flakes. So with the toasted ones, it turned to coconut butter in like a few minutes. This, I've been blending it for a solid 10 and it's still like a little bit chunky. So I'm gonna add in some coconut oil and hope that I can rectify this situation. But <laughs> fingers crossed. So this is like a little bit of a fail. So I've been doing this for ages and it just doesn't seem to be working. So I'm gonna try and make them anyway and see how it goes with the coconut in this texture. It's pretty fine, but it is not coconut butter. So if you're making this recipe at home, I would actually say go and buy the toasted coconut flakes because that works really, really well last time I did it. So just avoid the super dry, um, like all natural ones. So next up, what I'm gonna do is, because we're making these espresso flavored, I'm going to make a little um, shot of coffee. Um, an ingredient which I forgot to mention before, I'm gonna put in some cacao, so it's like a mocha flavor. So I'm going to go with, I'm gonna start with just like a few tablespoons. So let's start with three tablespoons and we'll see how we go. Okay, 
Actually, we'll start with two tablespoons. And I'm also going to put in some flax. So I'm gonna start with two tablespoons of flax. Now I'm gonna put in about a tablespoon of stevia and we can see whether that is sweet enough. And a little bit of pink salt. Now I'm just gonna pop the lid on and we're gonna blend that all together and we're probably also going to have to add a little bit of water. But we'll just start by blending all of these ingredients together. It's actually looking really good, guys. It's working. Yes. So I'm just going to add like a touch more water and one more scoop of coconut oil. We are done. This is the texture that we have. It's kind of sticky, but it's going to hold together quite well. And that's mostly due to the flax. So now I am just going to roll these into balls. Okay guys, so the fat balls are all done and they taste really, really good. And I'm just going to pop these into the fridge to kind of solidify them a bit more. Although to be honest, they hold together really, really well. And that's mostly down to, I think, the flax, um, which seems to kind of, I guess it's because vegans use flax as an egg as well. So it has kind of that binding nature to it. So I'm going to pop these in the fridge and yeah. So in terms of fat balls and fat bombs and things like that, if you are doing a ketogenic diet, it's not something that you need to have. Like it's not an essential part of keto, although it is really handy if you're doing like a lot of travel. Um, if you're working, you just want like an easy snack or something that you can kind of like almost turn into a breakfast if you're really stuck um, for food options. So it's going to be really handy for Nick because he does a fair bit of travel for work. So yeah, but I just thought I'd mention that you don't need to do fat bombs and fat balls because you can do a whole foods based ketogenic diet. With that said, I have not calculated the macros on these fat balls, um, but I'd say that a lot of the fiber is going to offset the carbohydrate in the flax and in the coconut. But if you are interested in grabbing that full recipe, I will have that up on our Instagram so you can find that there. And we also have a ton of other recipes. So yeah. So for the rest of this morning, I'm just gonna be doing a little bit of work. So I've just had a new shipment of supplements come through. So for those of you who don't already know, I run a naturopathy practice. So I see clients face to face here in Brisbane um, or I do Skype consultations within Australia as well. So if you're in Australia or if you're in Brisbane and you're interested in working with me, I will leave my um, information down below in the description bar. So there's all the details on how to book in um, and anything that you wanna know. But yeah, so I'm going to unpack these supplements, update my inventory, and then probably have some lunch at some point and head over to Bex later this afternoon. So I have made myself some lunch. So I've got a bed of rocket with a tin of red salmon, um, some cherry tomatoes, half of a smallish sweet potato that actually looks like heaps and half of a huge avocado. But I am very much looking forward to eating this. So I'm gonna sit down and enjoy. Okay, so I've just gotten to Beck's place and we're gonna go for a swim in her pool. And Gabriel's pretty much just cracked the code of crawling really, hasn't he? Yeah. Is that like this week? Pretty much just the last couple of days. So yeah, he turned five months on Wednesday and it's Friday now. So yeah, I feel like since, yeah, maybe about Wednesday, he's been like doing the arms a little bit more. We've been on hands and knees for like over a month now. Yeah, you're so. progressing quickly. Yeah, you're about to crawl. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So it means that I basically have to watch him every second now because he's like fatally attracted to like either the TV unit or like anything like made of metal or wood. I feel like it's the problem. So it's a disaster. You're just attracted to everything that hurts. So the and I'm always catching his head just before he headbutts something. Yeah. <laughs> He's been unsure about me today. He just looks at me and it's like, <laughs> scary. <laughs> but um, we're just about to head down to the pool, so yay, let's go swimming. So I'm doing something very dangerous at the moment. I have got a camera in the pool. <laughs> but Gabriel is enjoying the water. Eating his sunglasses. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> to I want to eat them. Nice chewable baby sunglasses. <laughs> uh oh! <laughs> we were doing like fine before. It was a good time. <laughs> <laughs> He's reached a point where, like, if you take away the thing he wants, he gets really upset. <laughs> My mascara must be on it. <laughs> Unsure if happy or sad. Oh, I'm probably tired. He's been resisting naps like all day. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. So we are back from the pool and Gabe is in his little nighttime outfit now. And in yeah. his high chair, which is pretty new. Uh -huh. <laughs> you got your new toy. I haven't taken the tags off yet though. It's the same as your fox. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I am back home and picked up Nick, so we are just in the middle of putting together dinner. <laughs> so for dinner, we are making ham hock soup. So this has actually been going all day. So basically, we have just slow cooked um, a ham hock from Christmas. So over Christmas, we had a whole ham, so we've just taken the bone and we're making it into a soup. So we have turnip, what else is in there? Onion. Turnip, garlic. onion, garlic. Um, pumpkin. Pumpkin, and we're gonna put in silver beet and um, zucchini. So I'll show you how it looks when we take it out of the slow cooker because it's just been simmering all day. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be our dinner. So really easy dinner when we have a slow cooker dinner because you don't have to really do anything. Okay guys, so we are just going to have some dinner, so we have our soup, and yes, I realise that we are eating soup in like the middle of summer, but it's nice and cool in the afternoon, and like what else are you going to do with a ham hock after Christmas? So this is what we've got today, and I'm really looking forward to eating it. The recipe that we like to use is actually a Pete Evans recipe, and I think it's in one of his cookbooks. Is it in a cookbook, Nick? Yeah, apparently. So it's either in, I think it's like family food or I'll have to have yeah, a dig through. Yeah. Maybe if I figure it out what it is, I'll insert it down here right now. But otherwise, I'll see you guys in our next video. Um, if you've been enjoying the vlogs so far, be sure to give this a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to see more videos from us, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in our next one. Bye guys.